This video will cover launching a discovery scan of your network in Tenable I.O. The goal of this type of scan is to simply identify assets that are on your network. To begin, we'll navigate to the Scans section of Tenable I.O. In the upper right hand corner, we'll click the New Scan button. You can see that there are a variety of templates that Tenable I.O. has to offer for various scanning purposes. For this video here, we'll choose the Host Discovery template. We can provide a few basic descriptive items here, such as name, description, and the folder to put the scan results in. When it comes to choosing a scanner, it depends on what types of IP addresses or domain names you wish to scan. If you're scanning private, internal IP addresses, you'll need to choose a scanner that is deployed locally on your network. If you're choosing to scan public internet-facing IP addresses or domain names, you can choose one of Tenable I.O.'s built-in cloud scanners. It's a best practice to choose a scanner that's located in close proximity to your targets if they are public assets. For this example, I'll be scanning an internal set of systems, so I'll choose my internal scanner that I have deployed on a private subnet. For targets, we'll be putting in an IP address range but you can also do individual IP addresses or domain names here as well. One of the things that I like to do for discovery scans is make one minor change to the scan template. In the discovery section, for the scan type, I like to change host enumeration to OS identification. This causes the scan to get a little bit more information about the assets that you're scanning instead of just returning whether or not they respond to a ping style request. From here, we can either save the policy or directly launch this scan. After clicking launch, you can see that the scan is running. Once the scan completes, you'll be able to tell by looking at the check mark in the column to the right. After the scan completes, you can click on it to review the results. The Assets tab determines that we have identified five assets within this particular subnet. If we navigate to the Vulnerabilities tab, we'll be able to see that we have Ping the Remote Host, Nessa Scan Information, as well as OS Identification. So this will give us information about systems that were up during the time of our scan, as well as some operating system related identification.